Is Nano Banana finished? ByteDance, the creator of TikTok and CapCut, has just released their new image generation model, Seedream 4. I did an extensive comparison with Nano Banana using 13 mind-blowing demos, which I will now show. There are areas where Seedream 4 performs better, like using multiple reference images, and others where Nano Banana is still strong, like adding element to an image. In addition to comparison, I'll also show you two different ways to use Seedream 4 and Nano Banana for free. Yes, you heard me right. Two free methods. I suggest watching all the demos in this video if you want to level up your AI image generation skills. Okay, without wasting any more time, let's start. If you like this sort of content, hit the like button and subscribe. It helps YouTube recommend similar videos to you. First, I'll show you a free tool called LM Arena. In LM Arena, you can access many different tools. After going to the link I left below, this page will appear. It's important to select the Generate Images option here. Otherwise, Seedream and Nano Banana won't show up in the list. Then, by opening the panel above, we'll choose the Direct Chat option and as you can see, Nano Banana appeared. Now we can use it. At the same time, you can expand this list and search by typing Seedream. As you can see, Seedream 4 is available here with 2K resolution. You can use both tools like this by switching the tool. Let me give you a quick note. LM Arena often updates and changes available tools here, so I'll now show you a second free alternative, which is the OpenArt app. You can think of this app like an aggregator that lets you use many different tools in one place. I will use this tool to compare Seedream and Nano Banana in this video. As you can see here, once you sign up, it immediately gives you 40 credits. Also, let me open this here so you can see. With social media actions, you can collect 300 more free credits just by following social media accounts. Let me do a quick calculation for you. One generation costs around 15 credits. That means with these free credits, you can make about 22 free generations. You can use the latest models of Nano Banana and Seedream for free just like this. Apart from that, when you subscribe to the platform with a paid plan, each generation costs about three to four cents, which is quite affordable. Keep that in mind. Let's move on to comparisons. For the first comparison, we'll try generating with multiple reference images. For this, I'm adding these three visuals you see here, a motorbike, a female figure, and a city photo as reference images. Then I enter my prompt like this. Seedream 4.0 is already selected as the model as you can see above. Let's start the generation. And yes, here's the result. I'll share my thoughts on it after making Nano Banana production. Now on the left side, I switch the model to Nano Banana, keeping everything else the same and generate again. The result with Nano Banana comes out like this. Let's take a look at the references and results side by side. I think Seedream generation is more successful. Nano Banana's result looks like a cheap Photoshop edit. In terms of shading, coloring, and scaling, I think Seedream blended them together really well. For this comparison, I'll upload an image that contains two different animated characters and another image with stick figures fighting. To transform these characters into fighting-like stick figures, I'll enter a prompt like this. Again, I'll first try it with Seedream and then apply it with Nano Banana as well. I generate the results. Here's the output from Seedream and here's the one from Nano Banana. In my opinion, both place the characters quite well, but in terms of angle, I prefer Seedream. It positioned the characters better. The character on the left actually looks more like the stick figure I originally drew on Nano Banana. But overall, as with the first example, I think Seedream is more successful in placement. It really feels like the characters are clashing with each other. With Nano Banana, I didn't quite get that same sense of impact. In this comparison, I'll use the result from the previous demo and try changing its background. By the way, until now I've kept the aspect ratio set to auto, but as you can see here, you can also choose different options. 
For the rest of the comparisons, I'll generate them all in horizontal format so that the results are easier to compare. So, I'm taking the output from the previous demo and using it here as input. To change the background, I'm entering a prompt like this. I asked it to turn the place where they're fighting into a basketball court. To save time, let's jump straight to the results. Here's the result from Seed Ream, and here's the one from Nano Banana. Honestly, both are equally good in terms of liveliness. I think Nano Banana did the coloring better. It looks more natural, but Sea Dream's version feels more appealing. For example, they added people in the foreground and the people in the background spread out more naturally. So, in terms of realism, my points go to Nano Banana. But for overall appeal, I give my points to Sea Dream. In this comparison demo, we'll place the Hulk on London Bridge. For this, I'm using a stock photo of London Bridge as the base reference. After uploading the photo, I enter a prompt like this. As usual, I first generate with Seedream 4 and then with Nano Banana. Here's the result from Seedream and here's the one from Nano Banana. I can clearly say that I prefer Nano Banana by far. Seedream did place the Hulk successfully, but it feels like it only adjusted his angle, size, and stance. Nano Banana, on the other hand, really added more depth. It zoomed in, created the effect of stones flying off where Hulk is climbing and the coloring is much more vivid and striking. Seed Ream's result looks rather dark in comparison. So here I give 100% of my points to Nano Banana. Now we'll try a more difficult demo. I'll ask the model to extract a character from within a fisheye lens shot. For this, I enter a prompt like this, asking it to take the female figure on the right and generate her from a side view. Here's the result from Seed Ream, and here's the one from Nano Banana. I found both results successful, but Seed Ream's coloring looks more realistic to me. Also, the angle it produced is more clearly from the side. In the Nano Banana version, the fisheye effect is still somewhat visible, while in Seed Ream's it really looks like a proper side view photo. So, although the results are quite close, I'd say I slightly prefer the output from Seedream. Now we'll do a similar test, but this time using an animated image. This time I am asking to extract the main character and place it onto a separate background. This is very important for story generation because in some scenes, you need to take characters and put them into different settings. Let's check the result from Seedream. Here it is. Now let's look at Nano Banana's result. Here it is. Honestly, both did a good job isolating the character, but Sea Dream made the character appear slimmer, while Nano Banana's version looks more realistic. In the previous demo with a real photo, Sea Dream performed better at isolation, but in this animation test, I'd say Nano Banana did a better job extracting the character. Now we'll do a test that advertising agencies would love. From the model you see here, I'll ask the tool to create a collage with the clothes she's wearing. Such a collage could easily be used as an ad on Facebook or Google. For this, I'm using a prompt like this. Let's look at the results. Here's the one from Seedream, and here's the one from Nano Banana. I probably don't even need to say it. Seedream produced a much better result here. Nano Banana did manage to extract the clothes, but the way it placed them doesn't line up properly. As you can see, the scaling issue of Nano Banana we saw in the first demo shows up here as well. Seed Ream's version, on the other hand, is very clean and directly usable, something you could take straight into an ad visual without any edits. So, in this demo, we can say Seed Ream is the clear winner. Now we'll do the famous upscale comparison. For this, I'm using an image like this and I'll try to upscale it to make it more usable. The prompt I'm using is as follows, and just to remind you, I'm using exactly the same aspect ratios with same prompts for both tools. Here's the result from Seedream, not bad at all. And here's the result from Nano Banana. This one looks much better. Both results are quite close, but Nano Banana's output is sharper and clearly more upscaled. In Seedream's version, the hand still looks a bit blurry, while Nano Banana managed to fix that issue. So, in the upscaling test, the points go to Nano Banana. Now we'll compare colorization. In the upscale test, Nano Banana had won. Let's see which one does better this time. I'm using a black and white photo like this, and with a very simple prompt, I'll just ask both tools to colorize it. 
Here's the result from Seed Ream. It doesn't look bad. And here's the one from Nano Banana. As you can see, they colorized it very differently. One leaned toward blue tones, the other toward gray tones. But when you look at the clouds, the sea should realistically appear a bit darker. So the dominance of gray tones is more likely. So even though both look nice, Nano Banana's result feels much closer to reality. Just like in the upscale test, Nano Banana comes out on top in this colorization demo as well. Now, let's see how they perform without using an image, only text. And we'll also check how they render text inside the images they generate. For this, I'll ask both tools to create a recipe card for an omelet using the same prompt. First, here's the result from Seedream. It looks quite cute. Just one mistake in the content where it wrote Mepper instead of Pepper. But other than that, it's simple and nice. Now let's check Nano Banana's result. This one also has a small typo in the ingredients part. Honestly, Nano Banana's result looks much more classic, like a real recipe card. Of course, it's a matter of preference. Some might prefer the simpler style of Seed Ream. But in terms of creativity, Nano Banana wins. It even included details like cook time and prep time, making it feel like a complete recipe card. So in this demo, the winner is Nano Banana. In the next two demos, we'll test character consistency. First, I'll try a close-up. I'll use a normal photo like this and ask for a very close portrait. Here's the prompt I'm using. This is the result from Seedream. Looks quite successful. And this is the result from Nano Banana. In my opinion, the results are very close. The only real difference is the angle. Nano Banana zoomed in a little more, but both can be considered proper close-ups. So, in terms of character consistency and showing detail when zoomed in, I'd say both tools perform at a similar level here. Now, let's move on and try placing a character into different locations. Now I'll test how well the tools can place the same character into different scenes. I will use this image as a reference image. First, with this prompt, I asked for the character to appear as a detective in the 1940s. Here's the result from Seed Ream. I think it's quite successful. It really captures the vintage vibe with the outfit, the street details in the background, and the lighting. Nano Banana's version is also strong, though the face looks slightly younger and slimmer. Nano Banana also adds more creativity, like lighting effects and even a cigarette in hand, but overall, Seed Ream feels more consistent to the reference image to me. Next, I will try another scene, placing the same character inside the cockpit of a futuristic spaceship. Here's the result from Seed Ream. The outfit didn't change much, which might be related to the prompt, but the cockpit itself looks very realistic, like a proper movie frame. Now, here's Nano Banana's version. It looks cooler, but not as natural. So, in both of these tests, while both tools maintained character consistency, I give the points to Seed Ream for placing the character more realistically into new scenes. For the final comparison, I want to really test both tools' creativity at the maximum level. For this, I'll use a reference image like this. Using only this image, I'll ask the tools to create a story for me. The prompt I give asks for a story made of five panels and for the last panel to incorporate the reference image I provided. Here's the result from Seed Ream. I think it looks really sweet. It actually feels like the story of a future YouTuber. Planning, filming, uploading to the computer, and getting likes. Now here's the result from Nano Banana. Here, Seed Ream is the clear winner. In Nano Banana's version, there's almost no character consistency and hardly any story flow. For example, in the fourth frame, it just repeats the last image. And in the third frame, the final panel was simply shrunk down. So in this final test, the clear winner is Seed Ream. Overall, both Seed Ream and Nano Banana brought impressive strengths to the table. Seed Ream stood out with cleaner blends, better placement, and more consistent storytelling, making it great for creative, polished outputs. Nano Banana, on the other hand, often delivered sharper, more vivid details and stronger realism, especially with upscaling, coloring, and dynamic effects. What do you think? Let's meet in the comments. I'd really love to chat about these tools. By the way, just a reminder, you can use both LM Arena and OpenArt to try Seed Ream and Nano Banana for free. If you're planning to generate in bulk, I recommend OpenArt's paid plan. 
With their current discount, the cost drops from three to four cents per image to just two cents. Probably cheaper than any editor out there. I'll leave the link below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might be interested. I wish you a good day.